I was getting ready to clean my Osprey Raptor 10 hydration backpack because last time I went it was very muddy. I'm gonna see if you can actually see how bad it is right now. So it's due for a good cleaning. And last time I went out it was we got, I got caught in the rain actually is what happened so it's absolutely disgusting. I've had this uh, backpack for two years now almost two years no I've had it for two years now and I love it but anyways so as I was getting ready for this I decided to make a video of what I pack in it and this is literally I took this off the hanger where I had set it to dry the only things that I have taken out is in this pocket I usually put my phone this zippered pocket inside I usually put my keys and in this little mesh pocket I put my wallet other than that, this is what I carry, and I always think it's too heavy. All right, so before I open this up, I'm gonna take it away from the table and wipe it off and wipe all that sand off. So here, as you can tell by the little icon, it's where you put your tools. It's a little tool pouch or pocket, and you open it up, and it has a tool pouch. And you can see it stays very clean, so you can never have too many zip ties. Got these from Harbor Freight, like big bag for a buck. Then you have your little tool bag here that you can roll out. All right, so you have this little roll out pouch and here you can set your tools as you're working on your bike so they don't get all over the floor. I'm gonna put that in that way so we can see a little better what I have in here. So. I have zip ties. <laughs> this might get embarrassing because this is, I have no idea what's in here. Some of these things have been in here for a while. Nah, there's not going to be anything embarrassing in there. But, oh, here's a small zip tie. Here is yarn or rope. I'm just going to show here. You have these little, these little clips here. And you can unclip the pouch. And here's the pouch, and I'll set the bag aside for now, okay? So here we have the pouch. So the first thing you're going to notice is it has these little elastic bands here. And what I have here are CO2 canisters. So I have two of those. These are the 16 grams. And yeah, they've been in there for a little while. Got a little zippered pouch here. And in that zippered pouch, I have... The neoprene sleeve for the canisters and I have the actual valve that goes on them so these you put here so you don't freeze your hand as the canister empties and then you would go here and you would control the air here I used it once when I had tubes actually and it worked well. I'm running tubeless now and hopefully this will work well if I ever have any problems. I do have an adapter for Schrader valves or sorry for Presta valves. And then here I have oh it's a multi multi knife. So this one's the Leatherman Micro and this is the one that has pliers and it has scissors and some of this I actually use more for like first aid in case you know there's a situation where I have first aid this also has some uh, tweezers you can get splinters out so I like to carry that with me um, I'm in the medical field as my day job so <laughs> I tend to carry a lot of, as you'll see, I tend to carry a lot of equipment for for um, medical emergencies. So here I have some extra quick links. Probably don't need two sets, especially since they're expensive. Have a little roll of duct tape. This is from my backpacking kit. And there's something in here. What is this? What is this? Oh, I have an extra derailleur and this one's for my diamondback 4c so if i ever get break my derailleur on my 
uh, hardtail on my Venso. I'm out of luck because I'm not carrying one of those. So maybe I'll throw, I have an extra one, I'll throw it in there. So on the top, you know, I was mentioning that now I'm tubeless. I've never had a chance to use this. When I got it off of Amazon, it had good reviews and it seemed well built. So I ordered this one. There were a lot of options, but I really like this one. This is, uh, says manual mountain bike tubeless tire repair kit. It has the insertion tool and it has plenty of it has this little pack of strips and there's another pack of strips just like it in there okay and i keep it in its little hard plastic container because i don't want to fall and have that go through a vital organ or something <laughs> okay and then i have here tire levers ah. And I have a little toolkit with all the Allen key set, uh, sizes that I might need. A 6, 5, 4, and 2 millimeter, and an 8 millimeter for the, for the crank. So I carry all those there. I actually have a multi-tool, a multi-bike tool, but I just found this was lighter. And hopefully I never need to do anything with a chain breaker because I don't have one in there. And the multi-tool I have actually includes one. Let me show it here in a sec. So I actually do have this multi-tool. And I think like if maybe if I go on a more extensive ride somewhere out in the real boondocks, especially if I'm by myself, you know, this has uh, spoke wrenches, it has all the Allen keys, it has the torque wrenches, it has, uh, it has a chain breaker there so this is uh, really neat it's compact and now that i actually check this i might just take those allen keys out and carry this with me again so here you have a mesh that you can put some wet you know uh, gloves clothes shirt whatever set it out to dry it's adjustable you can open that up clip it in uh, this is actually pretty cool so you put this through your helmet and you can carry your helmet there on the back so your first zippered outer pocket is padded so it can protect you know you i think it's supposed to be to carry your like sunglasses in there and what i do is i put my phone in there and it's nice and soft and it's protected here that little zipper inside i carry my keys and you have the inner or the second mesh pocket or outer pocket <clears throat> and here you can see there's a little mesh where I put my wallet it just goes down up to about here and then inside uh, I have sometimes I'll do this and last ride I did because my phone I had forgotten to charge it so I'll actually have a little charger in there a little battery pack and i'll just zipper it in there have my phone on the outer pocket zipper it in there and charge it while i'm riding that way i can have my strava going on and um and my battery won't run out so i put my wallet in this little mesh pocket in here and we can open that oh it opens more <laughs> like that so little pocket goes here and of course i have like i said i'm in the medical field so i have stair strips for those real deep cuts and if i need to cut them i have the scissors in that multi leatherman multi-tool i have big band-aids i have gauze so these are the big band-aids and some gauze they fit perfect in there i have a bandana which can be used for a lot of things so tourniquet uh, face mask nowadays with the covid <laughs> uh, it can be used as an arm sling so that has a lot of use also uh, from my backpacking days something that I'm used to doing. This is, <laughs> it's getting funny here. Uh, there's the little bag for the battery pack, but uh, toilet paper, all right? So you never know when you're gonna need toilet paper out there. And another thing that <clears throat> I'm a diabetic type two, I have to take metformin. Anybody out there that takes metformin knows that something can hit you at any moment without warning. So. And then I have smaller band-aids here and gauze. Again, I have some Advil. Uh, I have some moleskin in there. 
I have some uh, antiseptic wipes in there. I have some iodine, some antiseptic wipes, some moleskin, some Advil, smart, uh, small band-aids, smaller gauze. And back in here I have yet more stuff. This is a very light. This weighs almost next to nothing. It's like a Curlex self-adhesive. So you can wrap this around. <clears throat> last time I went mountain biking, well not last time, but a um, couple of, last time I went with my son, a couple of months ago, a month or two ago, <clears throat> I fell and got a nice gash on my forearm and I actually used some gauze and this and then just, we, we were able to just keep riding. So the other thing this bag that I like has is it for the bladder it has a zipper that zippers all the way so the tube you don't have to put it through a hole or anything like that okay and it comes with a three liter bladder this last outing i wasn't going to ride very far so i took a one and a half liter bag that i bought separate an osprey also you clip it here and this is and this like i said we got caught in the rain and there was thunder so we turned around at the one and a half mile back, back um, marker and all my water is still there so i gotta empty this and clean this and then the last thing this has is it has these little pockets here okay on the uh, hip straps this one is empty they're actually big my iphone 7 a regular iphone 7 actually fits in there and in my other pocket like I mentioned before, um, I'm a diabetic, so I always carry a snack with me. In this case, I have a Cliff Bar, so I always carry a snack with me. And I, that's pretty much I had on my on this trip. I trying to think if there's anything. Oh, sometimes if I'm going on a trail that's really out there and it's long, and I'm by myself, I tend to go ahead and carry an inner tube with me, just in case I can't fix my uh, tubeless system then I have an inner tube and I know at least I can make it uh, back home so that's all the stuff I carry on most of my rides it's definitely the stuff I carried in my last ride so let me know if there's anything you guys think it's excessive added weight what I should take out what you guys use in your packs but that's about it give it a thumbs up if you like it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe